as you started to notice, it starts to get, get more lively out here. This part of the town. And, uh... Up there, that part, seems to be what's happening. Let's take one of these streets up here. Find out what Portugal is all about. Now, I do suspect to find a lot of gems out here. Ooh, the sun in the back. Aside from the botanical garden, which is in the back up there, I thought I would find a shortcut to something that I saw just before, but I was wrong. Let's go the other route. There's the little street I was talking about. Portugal. And he started um, analyzing what happened. That thing over there. These are the streets I love the most because you find out so many things that you wouldn't normally beautiful colors. Oh man. I'm not lying, this is real life right here. I didn't color grade or change the colors or whatever. This is real life. Check that art out. Wow. Beautiful. And the light falls so beautiful up there. Travesa da Mar, do Mar da Pinto. Too much sun up there, but wow. How would you find us without, you know? I was planning to go to the west for the mat and then go to the city center and do some videos out there and so check it out but it seems there's so much stuff to see around here that I stayed longer now I want to go to the east actually so I'm thinking about getting some public transport pretty far so yeah So now I gotta take this long road to get all the way up the mountain. This was the Miranguro de Grasa. If I say that correctly, probably not, but yeah. And they have a couple of them out here. I mean, if you do get the chance, you will have the chance. You should come out here. I was planning to go to another one, but now that I saw this one, I might just call it a day with the, uh, you know, with the fuel points. However, I started to feel hungry and thirsty, so I might grab something quick. So, I'm still gonna go to the Castello de S. George. Only 10 minutes from here by foot, so why not, you know? That's the sea over there. They see the, they 